hovered above the boat, and uh, we could see like there was one one uh, man on deck, and uh, we didn't know how many people were on on board at that point. So the pilots they decided not to put me down on the boat because the uh, the mast was swinging around so so violently. It was like a 50 foot sailboat mast, and. Uh, some good wind chop and some big swell. It was rocking back and forth, back and forth, and it had uh, the cables coming off the sail and stuff. The case was difficult because of the weather. When we first saw those boats from far away, we looked at it and the floating platforms and things like that, and they came out on deck, spinning the trail lines, which helped a lot. We it was able for us to get our swimmer on the deck. But the weather was a major factor. I didn't think it was possible for a ship that large to bring the screws out of the water on every wave. Roger, avoid horse. Bring the swimmer up. Um, we definitely want to. fairly mild for as far out as it was. The, the six foot waves were just full of it. We fell into the bed well, and we knocked that cock in the cup. I got down there on the boat. You know, kind of relieved me a little bit because he was moving about and he was able to answer all my questions. She had hope. Okay, she's going to The interesting thing about this case is that he was 90 miles from Portland, which was his final destination. And he was he filled all the way from Liverpool, New York. Uh, and he took several months to do it. And he was delivering the boat to be on and on over a tour. And he was really close to making it and he got caught in that fall. He got knocked back and hit his head pretty good. He just couldn't continue from that point. So, so even the simple cases, you know, you're always a little bit nervous about it. You know, what's going to happen? You know? Hey, Jeff. Hey,
first life raft, and we moved over and picked up an additional three people. The uh, first helicopter was unable to get to. Them. I was in the water for about 45 minutes total, uh, about 30 minutes for the first uh, group of six, and then about 15 more minutes for the next group. Uh, I was thinking just uh, get over to the raft as best as possible, you know, try to find if there's anybody who has any injuries, uh, if everybody's accounted for, and then uh, that was going to determine what kind of uh, rescue devices we were going to be using and how, how quickly the actual whole evolution is going to be. I was saying, hi, I'm Dan. I heard you guys need a ride. You know, I said,